Em janeiro de 1966, o distrito Rate Ashbury, São Francisco, abrigava uma mistura de radicais, marginais, artistas e beatniks. Em seis meses, o local seria o epicentro de uma explosão cultural e social sem precedentes no país. It was a kind of an orgy of experiment, and by that I mean not just the drugs and not just the sex, but lifestyle experiments, experiments in art, experiments in uh, political expression, how you ex uh, express your disapproval of the policies that were being enacted by your government, whether it was the Vietnam War or other things, took on a new form. It's creating a alternative society, not just a revolutionary movement, an alternative society. It would be a free society, not materialistic, not just anti-materialistic, not materialistic. LSD amplified a sense of what was possible. Didn't always deliver, make good on the possibility, but it certainly created an, an awesome sense of possibility, and nowhere was that more vivid than in the Haight-Ashbury community in the mid-60s. A sense that almost anything's possible, a sense of we can take control, we can do it our way, and we can do it in a better way. I don't know, I don't have words, man. That's all. I just have soul. The truth is, a huge number of the best and the brightest and the hardest working people in my generation felt compelled to try to find an alternative. It was looking for a way to live and still be able to feel good about yourself. It was that fantasy that lay behind the hippies and their communes. Um, the idea was it's a sort of conventionalized, uptight society that makes for crime, makes for war. This idea that we are closer to nature, we are the way natural men would be if, if not tainted and corrupted by society. The reason we have society is that, as Jefferson put it, it's a great reflection on human nature, um, that if men really could live together in harmony without government, without the social order, they would have been doing it for all these millennia that there have been men. People had choices available to them as individuals and groups of people that were not there before. The cultural space was opened irrevocably, it would never be closed up again. And this was the accumulation before we headed into the 70s, before we hit disco, you know? <laughs> this was our last message to the earth, was that peace. When I think of American society today, when you look at our attitudes towards so many things, sort of the, really the, the liberalization of our values, our social values, whether you embrace them or not, I think you have to accept that we all have a little bit of hippie in us. And in that way, I think ultimately the hippies triumphed. The last hippie. <laughs> hippie. Yeah. Hippie. Hippie. Happy. Hippie. Hippies. They're like dropouts. 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 It means they don't conform to the the normal ways of life as we would see it. Last hippie is something different thing. Uh, you know what's going on? The dresses are so many types of dresses. Some wear some shorts, some wear some broad shorts. The last hippies always have tongs and are playing the bat on the beach. So why do they do that? I don't know. It's maybe a carryover from what they did in the 1960s. Yeah, probably somewhere. Yeah, sitting with his long bear. I'm in a big joint and uh, thinking about the 60s, the 70s. They came here in the 60s and the 70s, yeah. so they're still here. Um, bit on the other side of the river, yeah, back on around. the north side of the river at Bagger, you get hippies. We've heard today that there are still hippies, but they are north of the river. North of the river? Yes. Where is it called? Uh, Ar Arambo. You'll recognize them when you see them. Row, row, row. Yeah, like that. 
Gently down the stream, merrily, row, row, merrily, row, merrily, row your merrily, boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. À medida que ia aumentando, eu que ia amadurecendo na minha adolescência e desenvolvendo um senso crítico com relação à sociedade, né, que eu ia descobrindo, né, eu fui, na verdade, me deparando com, com a, um, uma coisa que é um, um fato. Né? A gente vive numa sociedade que ela é insustentável. A longo prazo, ela entra em colapso em algum momento. Esse momento pode estar longe, mas pode estar bem próximo. Na verdade, a gente vê indicações de estar próximo. Né? Dentro desse paradigma, considerando isso uma, uma verdade, um fato para mim, né? não, não se parecia uma alternativa entrar numa faculdade, entrar num esquema de trabalho convencional, porque eu saquei, eu falei, não, se eu for fazer isso, eu vou estar repetindo o mesmo processo que gera essa insustentabilidade. Né? Eu falei, bem, então tá, então eu não vou fazer o caminho comum, eu não vou entrar numa faculdade, eu não vou achar um trabalho que me dê segurança, o que, que eu vou fazer? Eu não sabia o que fazer, né? A minha primeira referência foi os artesãos que ficam na Praça 7, no centro de Belo Horizonte. Já participei do movimento hip, mas hoje né, não, não tem mais movimento hip assim, né? Hoje em dia cada um foi em busca dos seus ideais, dos seus objetivos. E assim, tem o meu ponto de artesanato, mando meus trabalhos para fora, hoje que vivo assim, né? Melhorou muito, hoje em dia melhorou muito pra gente, porque o artesanato está sendo mais conhecido, mais, né? Existe? Não existisse, eu não existia. Então, por isso que existe hoje. Quando eu comecei a conversar com essas pessoas, eu falei, nossa, achei, tá ligado? Porque na escola, não é, eu olhava pra galera, pra tudo, tinha os amigos, mas não, não era ainda. Na natação também não era. Não, eu mudei de cidade muitas vezes por causa da natação, mas também ainda não era. Eu falei, onde, e na hora que eu encontrei essa galera, só pelas ideias, eu me apaixonei pelas ideias. De repente, a florou assim, minha mãe, minha mãe hoje, que tem uma visão muito massa, ela fala que parece que foi uma flor mesmo. Ficou muitos anos ali, de repente eu consegui mostrar o que eu era mesmo, sabe? Não, hip, hip não, né? Porque a galera chama a gente de hip, mas o conceito hip pra mim é outro. Eu acho que os hip nem trampo não fazia, né? Quando as pessoas comuns assim me perguntam o que que é, eu falo que a gente é artesão, né? Maluco, de estrada, viajando, tem tantos, tantas coisas que definem, assim, que o pessoal define a gente, né? Mas o hip mesmo em si, não. E eu headed down Anduna, looking for a house, there would be people washing themselves by the well. And they would be there naked, with soap, shampooing, and I would go by and they'd just say hi. And they'd smile at me, and then I'd pass another house and there'd be people on the hammock, e eles say hi. Nobody looked away as if I didn't exist. In New York, you know, people are anonymous. You, you don't look anybody in the eye because you're invading their space. And here, everybody I met saw me. They saw me. I was a, a person. I was a friend. They smiled at me. They welcomed me. I belonged here. Uh, a person who believes in um, uh, peace, love, and freedom. If you believe in peace, love, and freedom, and uh, want to live outside uh, what is the normal system of uh, run by the governments, then you can be a hippie to be here. Oh, well, there is a few leftovers, but they've, you know, changed their style a bit, and they look more... Uh, uh, new millennium in their dress and stuff but there's still a lot of the old hippies have just grown old so you can't you won't recognize them possibly because now they're in their 40s and 50s it's been a constant evolution because every year the music changes i'm not into nostalgia so if i was into nostalgia i'd still be into the grateful dead i'm i've been a musician all my life and i'm always looking for something new and really stimulating in music and that's what's kept me on my quest for the holy grail of music i guess and always searching in computer music 
you know, there's so many possibilities, it's unlimited, you can mix it with anything, and any kind of ethnic thing or whatever. So, like, there's always people coming up with new and interesting ideas that keeps me, like, interested. I look back on everything, it's been a constant flow, like, somehow, like, the party never stopped. It started already in the 60s in San Francisco and it just went on and everything was evolving and I was learning through it and, so that I would be able to do what I do today. Which is, you know, I call it redefining the ancient tribal ritual for the 21st century. A liberdade não é um, uma coisa que se alcança, né? não é uma coisa que você conquista com sua liberdade. A liberdade você pratica. Né? Você só pode ser livre no aqui e no agora. Você não pode ser livre amanhã. E é isso que me fez ter uma lucidez muito forte de falar, poxa, é isso mesmo. Não existe um caminho para a libertação. Né? Existe a libertação no aqui e agora. Então, independente do segmento, se é dito maluco, hip, rasta, o que quer que seja, se não há conhecimento, principalmente daquilo que está se propagando, se pregando, buscando viver, para mim é uma falácia. Não há libertação em síntese sem conhecimento. Então eu acho que existem muitas pessoas escravas de si mesmo com pompa de libertários e libertadoras. Obviamente, né, como você mesmo disse, dentro de, dos vários segmentos tem pessoas, tem árvores boas, fazendo alusão ao que eu havia dito antes, e tem árvores ruins. Agora, claro que isso é um problema extremamente delicado porque é fruto dessa sociedade doente. Quando eu vim aqui, estava cheio de mágica, realmente. Nós nos separamos from the reality they talk about, you know? And then you realize if you really switch off the mobile, all these things, the information, the news, suddenly it's awakening by itself. Who am I? It's a fucking question, who am I, you know? When all these projections go, you know? And it's a fearful process. And this is what we all dream, to be nobody again. It means ourselves, you know? Not I'm this or that that we can again create new in the moment ourselves, every time new. This is what it's all about. You can be in the world and use the things of the world, but you should not be attached to those things, that's all. It's just using them as tools. Also the ego and the senses. The ego is the cement that holds the five elements in the whole creation together. Without ego, cosmic ego, there would be no creation at all. All of these things are tools for the soul to um, come into this world and experience the things of the world and find fulfillment and completion. And we should see them as tools. Emotions also. If we don't attach to it, we can use it just as a tool. If we attach to it, it overtakes our mind and drives us crazy, and we lose control and we don't know what we're doing anymore. It's all how you look at it. That's the tricky thing, but that's the secret. <laughs> Para mim, eu pude sair pela tangente e buscar nesse caminho da contracultura. Essa nova geração que eu tô falando é isso, eles não querem sair pela tangente, eles querem modificar a estrutura, tá entendendo? Eles querem realmente entrar dentro da estrutura, se empoderar dela e ressignificá-la, no sentido de, ah, esse sistema não me dá um sentido, então eu vou até ele e ressignificá-lo, né? Eu acho que é um pouco por aí mesmo.